Hey, it's Dorleen. Welcome to my channel. Today of my Merry Christmas in July series, this is day six. And today I'm doing an actual layout. So I love this picture of my granddaughters with Santa and Mrs. Claus. And it's a little hardcore or a little edgy because of the motorcycle, which I love. So I wanted to look at papers that were kind of that same feel. So most of my Christmas paper are very cutesy and colorful and bright. So I grabbed these papers. So I have this one from Teresa Collins, a Santa print, and the rest are from my mind's eye. These are older collections don't even know if they're still available but I was going through them and I thought I really like the vibe I l absolutely love this plaid paper so in my mind I thought okay I'm going to use this paper for the base of the layout um, I'm just trimming off the little paper edge to make this a actual 12 by 12 piece of paper and as I said right now this is exactly what I'm looking at this is the sketch that I'm going to work with and you see how they have those I'm going to call them bricks on the bottom I decided to grab my six by six pad and I grabbed these um, papers from, or this pad from Heidi Swap, and they still have a like a little grungy kind of look to it as well. And I thought I'd rather cut those down than full 12 by 12 pieces of paper. So I needed six altogether and they are measured uh, three and three quarters by two and three quarters. Yeah, so 2.75 by 3.75. And like I said, just six of them. A couple of them I just did the same colors, but I really wanted to get that Santa in there. So when I placed them on that plaid paper, first I thought, ooh, maybe I need like a strip of solid cardstock to kind of separate that plaid print from these other three printed bricks. But as I'm looking at it, I'm still kind of just thinking... Ugh, do I like it? It almost seems like a little too much. So I have a pad of paper that it's called chalkboard paper. So it literally can be used as chalkboard. I've had them forever. I don't even remember where the pad's from or when I bought it. But it's kind of this more dingier black, even though that is a blackboard. Um, and I started putting them down with it. And I definitely like this a lot better. I just think it just um, really makes those smaller pattern papers really pop. Now I could have cut that plaid paper down because like I said, I totally loved it and I thought it worked well with the vibe I was trying to do, but I didn't really want to cut into that 12 by 12 piece of paper. So I rather use smaller pieces or scraps and this would be a great way to use scraps. I did decide to matte that five by seven photo just in some white paper. I kind of put it against it first because I wasn't sure if white would be too stark, but no, it looks perfect. I just adhered that right on there. Now it's so funny because I have this picture, sorry my neighbors are outside, I don't know if you can hear people laughing, but that's not me for once. <laughs> but, um, oh, where was I? Um, so this is chalkboard paper like I mentioned. So I have this marker, it's actually just a paint marker, and I just started thinking I'm going to emulate the back of this photo. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a, just a lot of lights and, and snowflakes. So I thought I was going to use the white markers and just kind of put these little white dots and these snowflakes are actually, they kind of look like stars. I'm, I didn't draw snowflakes. I didn't even attempt to draw snowflakes, but at first I really liked them. I like the way they pop against that black background. And like I said, it's like a chalkboard look. So I really like that it wasn't super bright white, but yet I got different like variations of it. So it really kind of felt with that vibe I think I was trying to portray. Now again I'm looking at this and then I had an aha moment. So I bought these dies from the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo when I went to earlier this year in 2024 and from Tall Mouse. I don't know if they make it or they just sell them but anyhow what they are are their string of lights. Their string of bulb lights. There's also some that are shaped like Christmas bulbs and then there's some like on that top right where it's like a cluster of them. So I just cut a whole bunch out or I should say die cut a whole bunch out. I'm going to tell you this might be the best thing I've bought at the expo. It was like four bucks for three of those. That was a deal and they are so pretty. So I kind of laid them down and I started playing with them. And then I decided to turn the paper around or upside down because I thought it'd be easier to glue everything down and kind of play around with it a little bit. So as you can tell, just two of them don't go across the page. So I needed to do like two and then a little bit more. So kind of like putting together a puzzle. I just put some glue on the bulbs and then just uh, press them down. I do use an acrylic block to hold it down a little bit because it does kind of not curl, but just kind of pop up a little bit. But you see how I did that there? Oh, I already love it so much. And look at how festive that looks. Oh, I just love it. Just use some scissors to chop off what was left over. And then I noticed in that top right hand corner, it's just kind of too blank. So one of the pieces of the larger cluster 
right there. I, it's a little smaller piece. So I just find a way to add it there and it looks so good. I just love it against the black background. I don't use black as a, a base page on my scrapbook layouts very often, but whenever I do, I absolutely love it. So it's kind of surprising that I don't do it more. So that's a good question. Do you use black when you do your um, layouts or is that more of a once in a great while thing? I think that's a really good question, but the colors just pop, whether they're bright, bright colors or even these subdued kind of green, red and uh, more so do Christmas colors. But like I said, I just really love the way this looked. So I hope you've been following along. I've been doing this Merry Christmas in July series this week. All kinds of different projects. This one happens to be scrapbooking. But you can definitely use this sketch for anything. I got the sketch from Scrapping the Day Away or scrapping, Scrapbooking with Anne Marie. I'll have a link in my information box and also a link to my blog which will have more information on all this. So I did find a snowflake punch and so I punched a bunch of white snowflakes and I don't know if you can tell on this part but I'll show you later. I actually used the scrap pieces of that 6x6 pad that I used to cut the um, those small bricks just the back because the back were white. I figured that was better than using white cardstock. And then I decided to make these titles. I did them in three different sizes. And of course, the medium size is the perfect fit. It was 2.75 inch circle. I used the print and cut option in um, the Cricut Design Space. I found this um, little sentiment but it actually said, I'm too cute for the naughty list. So I contoured the I'm out and then I used the Annie Lou font because it looks like it's the exact same font. Change it to the same green and put that where in there. So now it says we're too cute for the naughty list. And isn't that so true? So there it is. I just showed you that black piece of paper. This is the back because it's got a white background. Why not use it instead of putting another piece of paper in my scrap pile? I didn't need as many as I punched, but I did raise up the title a little bit, which is unusual for me because I don't normally like a lot of dimension in my scrapbooking layouts. I just think it's too much in my scrapbooks. But I just put a little bit of dimensional tape there, a phone adhesive, and there you go. Not a lot of journaling, just the year, but I think it turned out so cute. I hope you agree. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe and come back for one last project of my Merry Christmas in July 2024 series. And, and as I mentioned earlier, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of all the videos. And... Merry Christmas in July. Thanks for watching. Bye.